to my channel. I just have a quick update for everybody. Uh, so I wanted to change the schedule of my uploads so that it is now Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Uh, the reason for this is that I wanted specific days to upload instead of just every other day. Um, that really just makes it easier for me uh, since it's only three videos a week as opposed to like four. Um, and that way I don't burn through like ideas so quickly and I can spend more time just making sure everything is okay. Um, otherwise, uh, I hope you've been enjoying, you've been enjoying my content, uh, and it's been, uh, really fun making it. Okay. Hello, welcome to my, uh, office. How can I help you? Yes, I've seen you before. Yeah, I'm the career advisor. Okay, so you have some questions? Okay, well, take take a seat. I'll, I can certainly help you today. So what exactly brings you in? I mean, are you looking for career help? Are you just, you know, trying to get very specific in terms of a career you already know? What? Okay, so you're not 100% sure what you want to do. And you're, you know, like your university applications are coming up and you're not sure what to major in? Uh, okay. That makes sense. You know, like a lot of people end up uh, not enjoying going to college because they pick the wrong major. Uh, so even if you have to take time just to figure out what you want to do, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. And almost every university gives you like a, if you're accepted into the university, they will give you like a general um, major you can go to and you can just pick and choose uh, classes from different majors, see if you like the classes, that way you'll be able to actually make a better decision. But I can help you now kind of narrow down uh, what you have. Okay, uh, let me get my notebook and we can get started. Okay, so were you looking to go to like a trade school or were you looking for just further education at um, you know, like your typical school. What's the difference? So like a trade school is where you're learning a craft. Um, it's something similar to like if you're going to go learn how to be like a botanist or if you're going to learn to be like a farmer or um, like, like if it's a particular craft that you're trying to achieve um, and you want to like make a career out of that craft then you go to like a trade school. Um, but otherwise, like if you want to major in something like English or if you want to major in like library sciences or engineering, those are all educate. Those, those are, aren't con this isn't considered trade school. Okay. So no, no trade school. Okay. Okay. Um, so Tell me a little bit more about what you enjoy. So really the best thing to kind of help you figure out what you like and what you don't like is just think about the classes that you've had. What classes have you actually enjoyed? And what classes have you not enjoyed? And be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you see you enjoy writing. Okay. Astrology and okay. Chemistry, okay. okay. Spanish, you do like Spanish, all right. Mm. Okay. Okay, what about like not on, not classes, just regular, uh, right, just um, at home, like hobbies, what do you like? You like cooking? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so that's, that's plenty already. Um, I can start off right at the top with, uh, the writing. What is it that you like about writing? Okay. So helps you get your feelings out. Okay. And it, hmm. So normally if you're thinking about going into writing, uh, writing 
it depends on what major you go in. So writing itself isn't a major. Um, you could major in English. Um, that will give you like the broadest range of um, possibilities. You'll learn about literature. You'll learn about like writing structures and um, creative writing. Uh, but then you have more specific majors and um, curriculums based solely on like creative writing or journalism or mass communication. Uh, do you think that's something you'd be interesting at, interested in? Maybe. Okay. That's that's fine. Yeah, and this is just for you to kind of have in the back of your head, like you know, okay, you have mass communications, you have English. You, if you wanted to pursue something in writing, then that's just something for you to have. Okay. Uh, next, you said astrology. What do you mean by astrology? It's like, are you into like the zodiac signs or what? Like, I'll, I'll admit I'm not super um, knowledgeable about uh, the zodiac signs and astrology in general. Um, but I think I was gifted a tarot deck. And I think uh, where. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Right here. Um, so I have, I have this tarot deck here. Um, I know tarot isn't exactly astrology, but um, isn't these cards really pretty? Look at that. Yeah, so tarot cards, they... People do make careers out of like tarot readings, um, but that's not something that you really go to school for, or you know, um, secondary education. So maybe um, there is definitely more of a science to astrology and studying the stars. But I think um, that should be something that I should really look up. Uh, so let me just make a note for you, uh, and all of these notes that I'm writing down, I will. Uh, send to you uh, through an email after I do the appropriate research. This is just uh, for me to look into things and then we can communicate later through email, figure out, uh, narrow it down even further. Okay, so astrology is kind of like a question mark right now. Writing is a maybe. That's good. Okay. Um, what was it? You said chemistry. So you said like chemistry class? Okay, now I've been here for a little bit. Do you like chemistry class because you like doc you like the professor? You don't have to hide your blushing. He is very cute. Um, okay, so think about the subject of chem of chemistry, not just the professor that currently teaches it, but the actual content. Can you see yourself? studying that and applying that somewhere. Hmm. Not really. Yeah, I mean, you could go into like biochemistry. Um, chemistry, is, chemistry is an interesting one. Um, but, you know, if you're not super interested in, interested in it, um, then I would definitely say it's like definitely a hard career path to go down. Uh, so definitely, um, advice. If you really like it, you would go for it. Okay. Um, okay, next up you said you'd like, uh, what was it, languages? Yeah, that's okay. So, um, Spanish is what you said. Mm -hmm. Um, so you just like, like learning Spanish. So actually, you can major in Spanish. You can major in linguistics, even. Um, this is the study of languages in general. Um, but even if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to like tie yourself down to just linguistics, you can um, either minor in Spanish or double major in, in Spanish. And that way, a lot more uh, career opportunities come forth to you. Um, a lot of... Uh, a lot of different places, different call centers, different, um, you know, like 
a lot of like clerk or desk jobs might require you to have Spanish, especially here in America. Um, this is like a secondary language. If someone doesn't know how to speak English, it's most likely that their secondary language would be Spanish and you'd be able to speak to them. So you'd be highly qualified for that position. Yeah. So with, with Spanish, I would definitely recommend if you were going to go into like fully into it and go into like linguistics, um, some might say that that's, um, it doesn't provide too many career options as a um, degree, but, um, you know, follow your heart. So I'm going to put a maybe next to that as well. But there is, you know, still the option of having it on the side and not having it be the main thing, you know? Okay. Um, what about you? Um, someone said, said culinary. Yeah, like, like cooking. Well, there are culinary schools out there. They're generally shorter than um, typical universities. Um, what type of cooking do you do at home? Baking. Okay. Well, let's let's really see. And I'm sure your mom loves that. Um, okay. Uh, actually, I have a cookbook. It's like um, it's a baking cookbook. Hold on. Let me go back here as well. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Off to the side. Perfect. The sludge book. Yes, one big book, isn't it? Yes, uh, one of the students uh, actually gifted this to me uh, after they graduated culinary school. Yeah, I advised them to go into culinary school. They really loved it. Um, so, um, I'll admit I don't bake myself, so this is kind of just sat in the office, but it's a very nice book. Um, it has a lot of different, uh, illustrations, a lot of different pictures of, you know, different pastries. It's very, very nice. Um, I'll actually do... Want me to lend this to you? You can maybe try me try baking a couple of these. It's very simple instructions. Um, and if you find yourself really enjoying it, then you you might like culinary school. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, uh, let me just place this over here for you uh, on the desk, and uh, you can take it on your way out. Okay. Okay. So. Let me grab my notes again. Okay, so we've gone over your interests, which is pretty generally where I like to start is your interests. Um, but now I'm going to ask you a few questions to help you decide um, between your interests. So are you, would you say, are you introverted or extroverted? I know those are very binary. You know, some people are like extroverted introverts or introverted extroverts, but uh, just if you were to have to pick introvert or extrovert, which one would you be? Okay. Okay. Do you like to work with your hands or do you like to like work on a laptop or a desktop? If you only imagine yourself working in the future, do you think of yourself working at um, like in a cubicle in your office with a computer when you sit down for the majority of the day? Do you imagine yourself like up and about and doing things? Um, yeah, like what do you, uh, what do you find, like, imagine yourself doing? Okay. So you've always imagined yourself in an office, but you're not sure if that's, like, just how you've always imagined it and not something. Yeah, but makes sense. This is, you know, if you think about working outside, how does that make you feel? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and what about organizational work? Do you like organization? There is something related to English, I would say, but like not quite. 
is like library sciences and being a librarian. That's actually something that I started recommending recently to students that um, are really good at organization and research, but don't really know what they want to do with that. Library sciences ends up being like a really good um, like medium for them to kind of flourish. Okay, so you like organizational work, but it's definitely not something that you want in the, yeah, okay. Okay, Let's. okay. Um, so in related, in relation to public speaking, in flat no okay <laughs> yeah trust me i am really good at one-on-ones -on -ones and good with like a few people but like put me on a stage and i oh i sweat real bad can't okay so definitely not okay so if it comes to like okay no, no, no. Hmm. um we do have some pamphlets um, about like different careers uh, in the front right there. So if you, uh, on your way out, you can also grab some of those. Just mentioning it really quick. Okay. I think I have enough to go on right now. Um, just remember that the future is all about you. Okay. So think about what you want. What do you think of yourself? Um, and also, something that's really important research the industry that you're going to be going into so so you're let's take one of let's look at what you've told me so writing right uh if writing is a maybe think about like the industries that write of that like writing or english is in uh so, so you have journalism think about you know the industry of journalism do you like that do, do you like that industry are you okay with the types of hours that's typical in that industry you know these are the kinds of questions that i think a lot of people tend to forget um because it just really uh changes your perspective i had recently i had like an animation student um who wanted to really go into animation for video games um but upon research of the industry they found like you know that industry has a lot of crunch time has a lot of um like long hours and they're not paid super well and you know weighing that in they decided that while they like that they didn't really want to um pursue a career in it you know and it's totally fine for you to like something as a hobby or as something that could give you monetary gain later in life so like say you didn't like english as a career but then you write a novel you know that's something that you can do even with a major that's not related to that. But it's just, you know, you just have to balance everything. And that's why, you know, these critical times, it's really good that you came and saw me. I'm glad. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, can you give me your email? Okay. Okay. Uh, dot edu. Okay. Great. So, um, uh, just grab a couple of pamphlets, grab that uh, culinary book, and I will email you once I do some more research on some of the stuff that we've talked about today. And I hope you have a really good day and good luck on your future. <laughs>